Welcome to 7 Pot Club. I'm Rob. Have you heard about the device that pairs with your iPhone to quickly and accurately test the heat level of hot peppers, hot sauces, and other chili products? I grow hot peppers. This is going to be a short episode to talk about the Chili Pot Scoville meter and a Kickstarter project that's going to end in a matter of hours after I publish this video. Hot pepper enthusiasts often estimate the heat of peppers and hot sauces based only on their taste buds and often defend their unprovable guesses with a lot of typing in all caps. These informal estimates are meaningless without an objective, scientific, repeatable test. Capsaicin is the active component in hot peppers that causes the burning and irritation and sometimes a uh, pleasurable sensation. The Scoville scale was developed over a century ago by American pharmacist Wilbur Scoville. This scale represents the amount of capsaicin in a substance using Scoville heat units, or SHU. Originally, the test was administered by having humans taste diluted samples until they could no longer detect any heat. Today, the accepted method of testing SHU is by using HPLC, High Performance Liquid Chromatography. This is a technique in analytical chemistry used to separate, identify, and quantify each component in a mixture. Obviously, it requires expensive equipment and is performed in a laboratory. ChiliPot is a device that can test a sample and provide a reading in SHU. A jalapeno is just a few thousand SHU, while the Guinness World Record holding Carolina Reaper has been tested at over 1,600,000 SHU. There are unconfirmed claims that other varieties are over 3 million SHU. Now, Chili Pot is not new. It's been available for a couple of years. This unit is also marketed as the food sense meter because it can also test other properties like the pungency of garlic and the amount of sulfites in wine. It's a product of ZP Chili Technology Group. ZP stands for parent company Zimmer and Peacock a developer and manufacturer of biosensors and medical diagnostics. Chili Pot was not developed as a consumer product. It's marketed to food producers for testing the heat level and maintaining the consistency of their products. Based on technology licensed from the University of Oxford, it's a faster, cheaper, and portable alternative to HPLC. If you want to see how Chili Pot works, there are a number of demo videos on the ZP Chili Group YouTube channel. I really wish I could give you a live demonstration right now, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to convince ZP Chili Group to loan me a unit for review, although I did have a pleasant and informative phone call with a senior member of the product team. So, ZP Chili Group, if you're watching, I would still like to test your technology. Viewers, please leave a comment on this video if you'd like to see me review the Chili Pot Meter here on 7 Pot Club. Here's a brief description of how to test hot sauce or peppers gleaned from watching several videos. Insert a single-use sensor into the Chili Pot device and connect it to your phone using Bluetooth. Dilute a sample of your sauce or ground peppers with their proprietary buffer liquid, then mix it up thoroughly. The hotter the sample, the more you have to dilute it. Now you open the app, tell it what you're sampling and the dilution ratio, then run the test. You get your result in a minute or two. Most of the video demonstrations I've watched test products like Tabasco sauce with an SHU level in the low thousands. This can be done with dilutions as low as 4 to 1. To test something super hot with a chili pot, it would probably take a dilution of 100 to 1 or more. To get an accurate reading, you'd have to blend very thoroughly to make sure the capsaicin was evenly distributed throughout the mixture. The price of this device is not shown on their website, but it is for sale new on eBay. The Chili Pot Kit, which includes everything you need, including 100 of the single-use sensors, has a buy it now price of $6,100. This is obviously well out of the range of the average hobbyist. Here's where the Kickstarter project comes in. The goal of this project? To raise around a half a million dollars to fund development and production of an affordable second generation chili meter for home use. If the project were to reach its funding level, your pledge of 350 pounds, about $451 or more, gets you one of the first units. Unfortunately, there are only three backers so far, and only a little over $1,000 has been raised. With only hours remaining, it seems pretty unlikely that the goal will be reached. 
There are several reasons why this may be a hard sell for chili enthusiasts. One, it's still a whole lot of money for most hobbyists. Two, the consumables are quite costly. The sensors are used once, then discarded, and although I don't know exactly how much they cost, I'm guessing they're between $10 and $20 each. The price is likely to come down with increased production, but would probably still be several dollars each. If you screw up a test and have to start over, or you want to do multiple readings to take an average, you'd need to use a fresh sensor for each test. That adds up quick. Three, it's an exacting process with precise mixing and measuring. Not really appropriate for settling arguments after a night of heavy drinking. In order to accept someone's results, you'd have to trust that they correctly prepared and tested their sample. Four, the target audience would have to be aware of its existence. I've not seen any outreach by ZP Chili Group to the online hot pepper community, and most of you have probably never even heard of Chili Pot or the Kickstarter campaign before watching this video. I think ZP Chili Group is going to have to step up their marketing efforts if they want to generate more interest and demand among chili enthusiasts. Again, please share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and tap the bell to receive a notification each time we post a new episode. Check out all our 7-Pot Club and Hot Pepper themed merch at 7pot.club slash merch. And for even more 7-Pot Club, follow our daily exploits on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. For 7-Pot Club, I'm Rob.